KCP Dynamics presents Tips and Tricks, Quick Pick number three, Reverse Transactions. Hello, my name is Michael Doheny, Director of Operations for North America. I would like to take a few minutes of your time to give you a quick tip about how to reverse transactions. This blog is the third in a series on recognizing, researching, and resolving issues when a control account and subledger account detail balances do not agree. The scenario created in the Cronus Demonstration Company is that the balance for account 2310, customer's domestic, does not agree to the aged accounts receivable report balance as of the 31st of January 2017. In tips and tricks quick pick number one, we addressed how to recognize a discrepancy and how to prevent balance differences from occurring. Tips and tricks quick pick number two walks through the process of how to research differences by reviewing posted ledger entries for activities not created by Dynamics NAV. The tip this week is how users can easily reverse posted transactions. In the last blog, an advanced filter was set up for general ledger entries with the criteria as shown. GL account number, 2310. Posting date, January 1st, 2017 to January 31st, 2017. System created entry equal to no. The first two entries are not of interest since the debit and credit amounts are equal. The third entry is the exact amount of this discrepancy and the transaction that needs to be reversed. However, in order to post the reversal, you must first select the direct posting checkbox on the general ledger control account. Use the following step to easily reverse the entry with the functionality provided by Microsoft Dynamics NAV. Select the entry to reverse. Click Home, Functions, Reverse Transaction, as shown below here on the Action Pane. The Reverse Transaction Entry play displays on this page. You can review the details of the entry and verify it is the activity you want to reverse. Click Home, Process, Reverse on the Action Pane. Optionally, you can select Reverse and Print. Click Yes to confirm. Click OK to reverse the transaction. After successfully reversing the transaction, there are a few more steps you need to take to complete your reconciliation work. First, verify the detailed trial balance and the Asian accounts receivable detail balance are in agreement. If you are unsure of the report to use, refer to the steps outlined in Control Direct Posting Tips and Tricks Quick Pick number one. Finally, clear the direct posting checkbox on your general ledger account to prevent a reoccurrence of the issue. There is some additional information you may find helpful when working with a reverse transaction functionality. First, the functionality is available on the general ledger entry page regardless of from where you access the page in Microsoft Dynamics NAV. For example, you may be reviewing entries in the general ledger register page and determine that you need to reverse an entry. To open the general ledger entries page from the GL register page, select the entry then click Home, Ledgers, General Ledger, as shown here. The General Ledger Entries page displays, and you will see the reverse transaction icon on the page. You can use the steps outlined previously to complete this reversal. A second point is that when you have used the reverse transaction functionality, the reverse transactions are noted with a source code of Reversal on the GL registers page. This helps you determine or recall where the transactions originated. However, one point worth noting is that reverse transaction functionality does not work with all transactions. The general rule is the initial entry must be posted through a journal. Therefore, the GL registers page, any entry with a journal batch name assigned cannot be reversed. When I try reversing GL Register 139, a reversal entry, by selecting the entry 
opening the general ledger entries and then clicking the reverse transaction icon, I'll get what you see as message number one. Another example occurs when entries posted through sales and purchase documents cannot be reversed. Message number true reflects that result for that action. So to wrap all this up, the best practice is to use the reverse transaction functionality when it is available in Microsoft Dynamics NAV. Using the reverse transaction option ensures that the original entry is reversed to the correct amount for the exact amount, and on the same date the original entry was posted. All of these are possible data entry errors if you choose to create the adjustment manually. Consider using the reverse transaction functionality the next time you need to reverse an entry. This completes our series for tips and tricks, quick picks, numbers one through three. Recognizing, researching, and resolving issues when a control account and sub-ledger detail balance do not agree. KCP Dynamics has a network of over 200 employees and consulting spanning five continents. We specialize in consulting, implementation, and training for Microsoft Dynamics NAV, AX, and CRM, and many vertical applications. We also offer technical support to thousands of users around the globe. Let us know how we can help you. These and other tips and tricks can be found on our website, on our blog page. Thanks for checking in. Hope you come back and visit real soon.